gang, Melissa here, and today I wanted to do something a little bit different. It was not a planned video day, hence the hair not being done did, so if you think you're going to be all nifty leaving a comment about how crappy it looks, uh, not a newsflash. No, not a newsflash. I already know that. I own a mirror. I looked in it before this, and yet I chose to make a video anyway. Go figure. Anyway, today I'm doing a little educational video, and because uh, learning's fun. Learning's fun. No? No? I don't know. I felt like this video was necessary because I get numerous questions about sunscreen and sunblock and physical versus chemical sunscreen, and the catalyst for this video actually is Josh Collier MUA. Uh, please go check out his channel, and you probably are, if you watch me, you probably already watch him. He is phenomenal, he is so talented, he's an amazing makeup artist, and he's so pretty. Like, he... Josh, if you're watching, you are a pretty, pretty man. And it's really annoying that somebody with a penis is prettier than me and everybody else. And, and please don't freak out that I said that. It's the medical term. It is the medical term, okay? All right. But my last video on BB creams, the Maybelline one, he had left a question asking how Maybelline can get away with claiming broad spectrum when all they had in there was titanium dioxide. And so... I was a little curious myself, so I started doing some reading and research, and I wanted to come and convey it to you and share it with you because I think there is a lot of confusion about this topic. So we will just, let me first say that I am not a doctor. I am not a scientist. Uh, however, what I am is informed and knowledgeable, and I feel comfortable with that knowledge enough to convey it to you and I feel comfortable in that I will accurately convey it to you and I will also link below my resources that I used because uh, I'm nerdy like that. I, I, look, I basically spent way too much time looking at way many dry articles to sort this stuff out because I felt like as knowledgeable as I was, I probably wasn't knowledgeable enough and uh, yeah, I wasn't. So that will be linked below in case you're up for a snooze fest as well. And uh, yeah, go crazy. Um, and of course, you know, if there's anything that I say you feel is inaccurate or wrong or you disagree with, please let me know. You know, let me know in the comments in, in a respectful manner, of course. You know, like your mama taught you, okay? You know, we're all adults here. We'll have a nice conversation about it. Okay, okay so right. UVA rays and UVB rays. Those are the two types of rays that we are protecting ourselves from. And I used to get the two of them confused, so I just really had to get elementary with it. And uh, yes, I said elementary. All of those letters are in that word. And so I don't want to hear anything about it, because that's how I say it. Uh, UVA, those are the aging rays. And those are the ones that give you wrinkles and penetrate very deeply. And then UVB, those are the burning rays. And those are the ones that give you sunburn and leave you red and whatnot. And there's a UVA-1 and a UVA-2. Now, the UVA rays, 95% of the rays coming down are UVA rays. 5% coming down are the UVB rays. With that said, you want adequate protection from it all. From UVA-1, UVA-2, and UVB. And that's where it gets a little bit confusing in the store with broad spectrum and what is really broad spectrum. The confusing part, and this is what Josh had asked in my Maybelline video. He said, I don't understand how Maybelline can get away with calling the BB cream broad spectrum when it only has titanium dioxide as its active ingredient. And here's the answer. Because titanium dioxide is a physical sunscreen, which it protects against UVB, but because it also protects against UVA too, they can claim broad spectrum. So it's kind of broad spectrum, but it's not full spectrum. So you see where we're going with that? You have to be very careful when you're choosing your sunscreen if you want full, full spectrum coverage that you have the proper ingredients in so there. So when you're shopping for sun protection, whether it's for the beach, the pool, or for something to have under your makeup or in your makeup, you want to remember a few things. There is sunscreen and sunblock. Sunscreen has chemical ingredients and then sunblock has physical filters. And 
The ideal product is a combination of both. Something that has chemical and physical filters. Um, in all a chemical sunscreen is, is that it has ingredients to filter out the ultraviolet rays that penetrate and damage your skin. The physical one is just that. It's a physical barrier between your skin and the sun. Much like um, lifeguards who wear zinc oxide, it's, it's a physical barrier. There are only two physical filters. There is zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide is UVA 1, UVA 2, and UVB coverage. It hits all three. Titanium dioxide is UVB and UVA 2, which is why Maybelline gets away with calling it broad spectrum. Because it is broad, but it's not full spectrum. So um, while zinc oxide is great because it's UVA 1, UVA 2, and UVB, a lot of times it's not a good option because it's so thick and opaque and white that it leaves you looking white. Uh, that's why the lesser, the titanium dioxide, is often used in cosmetic products because they can kind of thin that out a little bit and make it work with cosmetics. So the whole point in this is just that I want you to know what you're getting. And I know I say that in a lot of my videos, but I, I genuinely mean it. <laughs> I want you to know what you're getting. I want to know what I'm getting. And unfortunately for us, manufacturers and companies, they so often misrepresent what they are actually providing you that we are sitting here left to sort it all out, much like I spent many hours of my life I wish I could have back. Um, so yeah, I'm going to list below the 15 chemical ingredients and the two physical filters that are out there and uh, kind of like a brief overview, just short and sweet. But yep, UVA1, UVA2, UVB, you absolutely want the whole entire full spectrum. So if there's any questions that I haven't answered or if I've just confused you even worse, please let me know and I will try and sort it all out. But uh, other than that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. I would love it if you would subscribe and uh, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.